getting back to uh the tensor g3 right this is kind of embarrassing and i'm not gonna lie to you now with these leaks leaks happen for a reason uh they don't just leak on accident so i don't know if they're planning on a newer slower cpu for their a series devices google changes changes stuff a lot <laughs> for for better or for worse um they change names of devices they change names of programs that they have quite a bit look they just changed their uh, uh google bard which was a weird name into google gemini uh just this last week so they they do a lot of changes um they could be working on a special less performing cpu for their a series devices um I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying that could be the reason for this uh, slower result. Let's see. Um, it says the mysterious Google chip could be the t the Tensor G4. So it's not 100% the G4, but the Tensor chip had the code name Toke, which they. What is it? Android headlines has never heard before, and I've never, I've never heard before. Um, and there are hints of it being a Tensor Power G4 product. Um, and let's get into the scores. What were the scores? There are two listings for the possible Tensor G4 chip named 2K on Geekbench 5. That's interesting because we're on Geekbench 6 published within 20 minutes of each other so it looks like they ran one test and then ran a second test the device had eight gigs of ram and ran on android 14 it scored 1400 uh, excuse me 1048 and 2788 points in the first round of single core and multi-core cpu tests respectively Second round, it scored 1,082 and 3,121. These aren't the most impressive Geekbench 5 scores. Now, we're running Geekbench 6, and look at these scores. Now, I don't know what this would, what, because look, this is the Tensor G3 right here. Oh, y'all can't see, damn it. So this is the, let's move the Ultra, the Samsung's. This is the Tensor G3 Pixel 8 Pro right here. Pixel 8 Pro, just for proof. And these are the scores. This is the Nothing Phone 2, just for example, because these two phones don't come close to the Samsung. Now, this one doesn't is not really relevant to the story, it's just for a comparison. This is the Tensor G3 in the Pixel 8 Pro. This is the Snapdragon 8 Gen Plus 1 in the Nothing Phone 2. Um, and these are the scores, right? So, if we have on the Tensor G3, the current flagship CPU from Google, scored 1766 single core and 3929 multi core. Now, on that article, what did it say it says it scored a thousand forty eight wow that's way under so this new cpu that was tested scored just over a thousand and look the g3 the current one scored 1766 multi-score or multi-core was 2788 now look at that 3929 so it's significantly slower that's not a little slower that's in the mobile industry world this g3 blows away this 2k or uh, possible tensor g4 chip that's why that's why it's hard for me to believe that this is that this upcoming chip is going to be put in uh the new pixel 9 series now it's a possibility as i mentioned could be a newer chip they're using for their a series devices to kind of bring the cost down 
uh, it'll be cheaper for Google to manufacture. They can pass those savings on, damn cat, pass uh, the savings on to the consumer. Um, it's possible that they it was not maxed out on the um, gigahertz, right? Because so I think these go up to, what is it, 3.2? What is it maxed out at? Uh, 2.91 is the max gigahertz. So maybe they'll make a lower performance tensor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. That's either either they're making a new tensor chip specifically for the a series which i think that if you want to ask my honest opinion that's what i think is going on there's no way they're putting this in the pixel 9 they would get laughed out of the building by the whole mobile industry honestly they would with those with those scores because it's literally it's not just going taking a little step back on performance that's taking a giant leap back <laughs> that's falling on their face back step i mean uh the nothing phone i mean there's phones three years old they score better than that um so i don't, I don't and again google said there it's not about performance it's about fluidity and usage right which i understand and i, I totally get um and this pixel 8 pro is fast now i'm talking i don't game as i mentioned but app to app um stuff like that it's very very smooth so uh, but these scores are shocking i can't honestly believe it um so that's what i'm thinking it's got to be something for a new a series uh give me a second my cats okay <clears throat> what other information do we have here Let's see. The chipset in question has an octa-core CPU setup. So, uh, if you remember, the G3 has nine cores. So this is sort of a downgrade. However, looking at clock speed, the SoC is fitting to be the successor to the Pixel 8's processor. It has one prime CPU core. Check this out. Wait, hold up. It says it's eight cores. It has one prime CPU core operating at 3.1 gigahertz, three mid-level cores at 2.6 gigahertz, and four efficiency cores clocked at. Okay, so this is definitely, let's see, to recall the Tensor G3 features one prime core clocked at 2.9, four Cortex A7 and 15 cores at 2.37, and four Cortex A5. A510 efficiency cores at 1.7 gigahertz. So the mysterious Google chipset spotted on Geekbench is an upgrade over it. Despite featuring one less CPU core, Google could easily pass it off as the Tensor G4 for the Pixel 9 series. There's another reason why it could be a Tensor G4. The code name is entirely a mystery. The Google 2K might be the next fold might be the full the next foldable or a smaller pixel 9 pro they can't put this in a pro no way uh some of you might be like it could be a custom chip for their um for their next gen tablet their next tablet um was just leaked uh let's see how um, Let's see, for example, the G2 powered the 7 Pixel Fold, which features the same chipset, codenamed Felix, but later changed to match the cat family. They used to do fish. Oh, but they're naming their CPU uh, cat family, okay? Codename for the Pixel A series is Shiba and Oski. Uh, so what is a 2K? What the hell is... Uh, you know what? What? It, let's Google. Let's Google T O K A Y. Kind of doing a breakdown on live. And we're gonna we're gonna do a giveaway. If if we if we have more than one person, which it looks like we do, I'm doing a giveaway. In fact uh it's the right here (sighs) 
Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro Router. It's the latest and greatest. I think retails for like 179 at Best Buy. Could be yours for free today. So I'll get the entry. I'll get the uh, hashtags. So y'all can enter. Give me a second. Uh, there is no 2K. Toke. It's a wine. Huh. It's a gecko. The Toke gecko. Interesting. <clears throat> I never heard of that. <clears throat> so the hashtag. So interesting on the tensor chip. Yeah, it's got to be. Um, it's obviously for a uh, upcoming device. It might be because uh, you know they've used their tensor chip flagship uh, uh, chip in a number of their devices right the tablet the pixel fold their pixel phone series um they might be expanding that um now where they put you know uh custom chips in different series of devices now next year is their last year with exynos and samsung um so they may be this may be geared towards a newer device obviously down the line who knows what it's for uh could be a pixel tablet could be for a the pixel uh, 9 right just taking a step back in performance right they can fine tune these things so maybe they put it at 50 percent power right maybe they they fine-tuned it for 60 percent power so it's not getting the full 100 percent power so we'll keep our eyes on this one and uh i'll definitely keep my eye on this one because i'm really interested to see what this is now